one of the challenges of working with the Bear Gulch limestone is the vast majority of it is located on private land. There are a few small BLM plots, but currently Montana state law allows private landowners to lock BLM gates if they own all the property around them. So even the public lands for the most part are inaccessible in this project thus making the Cox family very valuable to scientists like myself so that we can actually study this unit. You know, there are days where you don't find anything, but you do find important stuff because you are looking at the context as well. Um, it's that classic scientific idiom. Uh, no answer is still an answer. Um, so no fossils are still telling us something about the fossils. There are times in the basin where for whatever reason either fossils are not being preserved or animals were not there to begin with. So nothing is still something. <laughs> the time of the Mississippi when these rocks are being laid down, this is an ocean basin. And that's where the fossils come back to being important because brachiopods in particular so that's precipitate that's their shell in equilibrium with seawater. So if we can find fossils, specifically brachiopods, if we can show that their shells have not been altered by time, we can get the isotopes out of there and then we can, with a fair amount of certainty, say 300 million years ago this was the pH level of the water that laid down these rocks. Getting access to private land can be a challenge for any scientist, but when you're working in an area such as the Bear Gulch where oil has been suggested, landowners get really concerned and start locking gates and stop returning phone calls. And so people like Larry Eichhorn in Lewistown, who is an amateur collector as well as a retired BLM employee, has been invaluable in helping me build relationships and start unlocking some of these gates. It is a critical rock unit. And so to be lacking data on it is highly frustrating. To be denied access is highly frustrating. Um, so what the Cox family is doing for me by allowing us access, they're not just helping me get my degree, they are actually advancing science. They are helping out paleo enormously. And I don't know if they know that and I hope to express that to them.